Welcome back to Koshy's Business Builders, where we're putting small business first. Now, today we're talking about building business resilience now and into the future. Here in the studio to answer some of your questions is the editor of the Flying Solo platform, Lucy Kippis, and dietitian and nutritionist Susie Burrell. Ladies, welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in. Lucy, Flying Solo is all about solo entrepreneurs who need the most resilience in this time because they're doing it by themselves. And um, what sort of trends are you seeing amongst your viewers and listeners and readers on how they're coping? Well, David, mostly they're focusing on creating new opportunity. They're also focused on upscaling their technology to make sure they're on top of everything they need to be. But the real heartening thing is a lot of them are also realigning with their actual brand values. So they're making sure they're staying true to their message and true to their business. And how, how are they coping mentally? Um, and the isolation, if you like, of getting through a tough time and, and not having anyone to talk to. Yeah, I think for our community, being working on your own is essentially what they've done for a long time. So I feel like we've had the advantage in that regard. You've been, <laughs> been practice. You've been working at home your whole life. We've been working at home your whole life, so <laughs> no big deal. But also I think it's a great question. And I think that they've, they've talked a lot more about reaching out through technology to other business owners. So those yeah. Facebook groups and the virtual business groups that you belong to have become a really important staple yeah. of their week. And Susie, how have you coped with the COVID restrictions? You're a small business owner yourself. How have you managed to get through it? Well, I have always had multiple income streams. Because I think that's really self-protective when you're a small business, particularly just working on your own. I've worked at home on my own for a really long time, so it hasn't changed anything structurally, with the exception of, of having some new technology to be able to have client consults at home, which I wouldn't have normally done. I prefer to see clients face to face. How did you adjust your headspace to all of a sudden everything shutting down? I was quite lonely because I miss seeing my clients, you know, having them in the office and really um, connecting with them on that level. And so I found it quite isolating. It's been hard for everyone. Let's get into the questions. First one from Angus on the Gold Coast. Angus, thanks for sending it in. For you, Lucy, is resilience just about coping with the stress or is there more to it? It's in part coping with the stress, but I think overall, from a business perspective, it's about safeguarding your business for the future. So it's building processes and systems that mean whatever comes past your door, you're going to be able to keep going with the business on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's important to have a plan yeah. getting through. So if you write it down, it's almost in black and white, it's a blueprint to get forward. It's almost a comfort, isn't it? That's exactly right. It gives you peace of mind, essentially. Yeah. Uh, Susie Simone from Bega asks, What's the most important thing for small business owners to do when it comes to personal resilience? I really like approaching it with mental toughness training. So mental toughness looks at four aspects. It looks at how confident you are that you can manage a situation, how much control you have over it. And in this instance, we haven't had a huge amount of control. Um, it looks at how confident and capable you are at getting it done and how committed you are at working through it. That's great advice. Uh, Sam from Wagga asked Lucy, um, my business wasn't resilient and it's essentially ceased operations. What's the point of trying to build business resilience now that the crisis has already done the damage? It would be remiss of us to say it's not overwhelming what's happened. But I think essentially what you need to do is think of resilience as a muscle. Regardless of when you build in your life, it's gonna serve you. Susie David from Tasmania asks, is resilience a frame of mind or is it an actual measurable mechanism that businesses need to survive? Gee, you're a process-driven bloke, David, aren't you? Don't tell me you're a bookkeeper or an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> there are absolutely measures of all of these variables, where it's resilience, whether it's mental toughness, but it's still around the same principle of building that muscle, training yourself to be, you know, keeping in charge of your mindset and, and having skills that you can use on a daily basis to build resilience, but also build your capacity to deal with things, so yes. Lucy and Susie, thank you so much. It's really great to talk to you today. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But before we go, don't forget, we've got a whole lot of digital booster bundles from Yellow that we're giving to our Small Business First community. Head over to the website for details about how to win one. And while you're there, make sure you list your business on our directory and post a short 30 second video like the ones you've just seen here on Koshi's Business Builders so we can keep putting your small business first.